guys, thank you so much for watching this simple little TV where we talk about everything and want to win everything. I mean, like, <laughs> working from the living room series is finally back. It's been like over a year and some change since I've done one of these videos, and y'all know. I've been working from home since 2015. I know with everything that's going on with this COVID-19 stuff, a lot of you guys are working from home or um, wanting to work from home. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages of people asking me how or where and who's hiring. It will be either the beginning of the month or the end of the month that I'll do these videos. I'm going to do reoccurring videos every month. Um, that way I can keep you guys up to date as to who's hiring and all of that good stuff so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell that way you can keep up with my videos and whenever i upload and also follow me on all of my social medias above that way you can keep up with me but before we get started into this video i want to show you guys something really cool that i really think everybody needs let me show you guys so sorry to interrupt your video but since we're talking about working from home because of covid 19 and all of that i thought it would be a good idea to show you guys this cool tool or thermometer it's a forehead thermometer this whole covid 19 stuff going on temperatures are important this is a non-contact one so you don't have to touch nobody you don't have to go in your mouth and then it comes like this it also has some direction and stuff in there and the reason why i have baby gavin with me is because i'm going to test it on him um he's been teasing as y'all can see he's chewing on his hand a couple days ago he had a little fever and i was like really worried like anytime someone starts sniffing coughing sneezing fever like i just panic because you just never know right now right but um this is how it looks you have the on and the off button it can also switch from fahrenheit to celsius it does take batteries but it already comes with them which is good so you already have a pack of batteries in the box but, um they just two AAA batteries you know what see one thing I thought was super super cool is that not only do they have a four, not only do they have a forehead mode, but it also have a food and object mode. You can check the temperature of food and also check room temperature as well with it. You take the temperature three centimeters away. Um, I don't really know what three centimeters is, but I'm just gonna assume. So first, I'm gonna press the power button, and then it's on. Then I'm gonna press the start. Oh shit! First, you press the on button, then press start. <laughs> Wait, his says 93, and I know that's wrong, so let me just try it again. Okay, you gotta keep it still. <laughs> you gotta keep it still. Okay, that looks better. So, 97.6 is his. It's on Amazon. I'll go ahead and post a link down below, but it's on Amazon for $42.99. I believe the regular price is like $62. So, go ahead and copy out one. As a matter of fact, you can put this in your purse. You can carry it around with you, you know, whenever you're going places, in case you need to, you know, hold on before you. Let me. Like, you know, you can do all of that. Go ahead and get your forehead thermometer. Again, non-contact, you don't have to touch anything. You don't have to stick nothing in, but throw it on the tongues, on the arms. You ain't gotta worry about none of that. Oh, I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway. So in order to figure out what those giveaway details are and how you can enter, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. Thank you guys, and let's get back to the video. Okay told you guys i'm gonna be doing a giveaway now it's super super easy to enter this giveaway i decided to do an updated q a you know my life has changed drastically within the past year or two um i think the last time i did a q a was probably in 2018 so um i need to go ahead and do an updated one so if you want to ask me some questions you want to get a chance to win that thermometer that i just showed you guys you can leave me some questions in the comment section um, you can also snapchat me some questions. I prefer for you guys to just put all of your questions in the comments But whatever works for you works for me And then there's one more way you guys could actually enter this giveaway I'm also going to be bringing back my Angelique talk segment You know where I'll be drinking my wine or whatever and reading y'all crazy ass life stories and giving you guys advice Yeah, I'm going to be doing that again So if you guys need some advice on whatever the case may be you guys could email me at angeliquetalks at gmail.com or you can iMessage me at angeliquetalks at gmail.com. You can message me on Snapchat or Instagram. The stuff is going to be up here. I'm just making it really, really simple. So let's finally go ahead and get into this video. All right, you guys. So I'm going to be discussing four different job offers that are currently hiring at the moment. Hopefully by the time you guys see this video, they're still hiring. If for whatever reason I notice that they are not, I'll 
um, replace them with another job hiring link in the comments so just look at the comment section below um, to see if any of these jobs are still hiring so the first company is called I don't know anything I went on their website and it seems to be like a car park company where you know you just buy different things for your car this job is gonna be paying between 13 and 19 dollars an hour the job is a customer service job so you'd be taking between 40 and 50 calls a day qualifications are you have to have at least two years of customer service experience and this company also offers medical vision dental and also a 401k it seems to be pretty good what I'm not gonna do is give you guys any jobs that are trash so I just know I've done all of my research on any of these jobs that I'm gonna mention to you guys and I feel like it's a great opportunity so um, that link will be in the description box. Another job is called Maximus. Um, I've never heard of this company before. This company is actually a data entry job. It starts off at $15 an hour. Basic requirements are a high school diploma. You have to have basic computer skills. Also, you have to be able to type at least 40 words per minute. They also offer a flexible schedule. Like I said, it's data entry. You're not going to be taking phone calls. I actually like those jobs better. I'd be tired of talking to people and be dealing with their attitudes. So, <laughs> I really like those jobs. Now, now this next job, I don't know the pay. I couldn't find out how much they offered, but I thought the job itself was a pretty dope job to work for. So I decided to mention it to you guys. Like I said, I don't know the pay, so don't cut me if <laughs> they pay you know less than you guys expected them to but they should pay a good amount because it's actually a brand ambassador job so the job duties are to assist customers with issues regarding fashion boutiques watches and also fine jewelry and you're going to be assisting them by providing suggestions for different products that match their interests and needs and more but the catch to this one is you must reside in these specific um, states which i'm going to mention so you have to reside in Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Nevada, New Mexico, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Texas, Tennessee, Utah, Virginia, or Wisconsin. And then you must have internet, webcam, a headset, and also a computer, of course. And then lastly, you must be able to work on weekends. So those are like the main things that I noticed about the job that I wanted to like share with you guys. And then lastly, um, Tesla is hiring. They start off at $19 an hour. The basic description is to provide excellent customer service that is focused on the person as well as the solution. And then you'd be working with various Tesla partners such as scheduling, maintenance, um, process development, and etc. Requirements are reliable internet and a quiet workspace, of course. All of these jobs are going to require a quiet workplace, so just keep that in mind if you're wanting to work from home. You don't necessarily have to have an office, but you have to have at least somewhere where you know you know you can set up your equipment or whatever, and it's not going to be too noisy, and you're not going to be you know interrupted and distracted by your children and all of that so i um, just keep that in mind when deciding to work from home because working from home isn't for everybody i'm just going to be honest it's not as you guys can see it's time for me to hop up off of here so um don't forget to hit those links down below that's all i have for you guys and i'm going to see you guys next sunday